Sakti. I'm the business. I'm the business development manager from uh, TP Link Malaysia. So today, uh, I will share with you more on uh, business Wi-Fi and the networking solution. And we have our engineer here, Alex. So later, he will be sharing uh, on the software defined networking, our uh, management platform. So you can have more understanding on what kind of features will be available there and what kind of uh, settings that you can do. Lah. Okay, so let me share you the next slide. So our agenda today, so for the first half, an hour, I will be sharing you on the business networking solution overview so that you can understand our uh, uh, tippling uh, business networking solution portfolio. And also uh, for another uh, 2.30 to 3, we'll be sharing uh, on the case study and also some scenario. So whereby when you uh, face this kinds of inquiry from this kind of uh, target segment, this target industry, so you will know how to propose them. And from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., which is about an hour, so uh, Alex will take over and share with you more on the technical part on our software defined networking. Okay, so without any further ado, so let us start the, uh, the sharing. So firstly, we will go into our business networking solution portfolio. For tp side, side, uh, actually, uh, other than Soho products, we do have a business uh, portfolio as well called business networking. So there is a three pillars here, which we are focusing in to provide a one-stop solution and products for different kinds of uh, scenarios. For the first pillar, which is our uh, enterprise network solution, known as our uh, Omada smart, smart Cloud Solution. This is a software-defined networking solution whereby you can manage all your Omada, our Omada series, access point, our Omada switches, our Omada router, via a centralized management platform. So uh, later I can share with you more like how you can actually go into this centralized management platform to control all these access point switches and router. So this solution actually provide a, like a one-stop solution for your customers also. They can just uh, access into this uh, management platform and monitor all their networks inside. So more flexibility and also more convenient for them. And the second pillars will be those uh, solutions for those uh, smart, small and home office, like those uh, easy smart switch, uh, minute switch, PoE switches, and also load balancing router. Third pillar is that uh, we also have this uh, virus, virus broadband solution, which is an outdoor wireless networking uh, solution, which uh, is applied for those uh, WISP, those uh, enterprise bridge, those uh, customers looking for wireless civilians. So um, this is able to provide the connection from building to building. It's suitable if you have some client, they have uh, some separate buildings uh, in their factory area, which is like scattered around. So you can set up the connection from building to building, which is about few kilometers away. So this solution actually is uh, possible. And also for customers, they even like apply this uh, CPE solution, this Paros wireless broadband solution for those uh, elevator. So to provide some uh, Wi-Fi inside the elevator and also for some uh, customers, if you have encountered some of it, maybe from a plantation area, they need to set up the connection also within the plantation area, which is about few actors. Lah. So you can actually propose this solution to them. Okay, so um, come back to this uh, software defined networking. It's basically a network with a controller to help you to manage all your switches, all your router, and also access point. So compared with the left-hand side, which is running on traditional network, you will notice that there is no centralized controller here to manage all your switches and also your access point. So when it comes to troubleshooting and maintenance, you will actually find a hard time to find out where's the issue at. And also when it comes to maintenance, also you need to maintain it maybe one by one. So it actually takes up a lot of time. But with a software-defined networking solution, so you will actually have a centralized controller here to manage all your switches and AP. So you can have a centralized monitoring. So even when it comes to like troubleshooting and so on, you can just view everything in a single pane of glass. So over here, the controller side, you will know which uh, switches already have this issue, which part of them, and then AP, you will quickly identify which AP are actually uh, need to do the troubleshooting. So this is the, the benefits of having a software-defined networking solution. 
this is suitable for those uh, environment maybe uh, quickly and uh, they expand very fast. So they need to deploy different different uh, features AP across the branches. So this will help them to manage their branches uh, network as well. Okay, so for one hotel scenario is that it will integrate all your city mounted AP, outdoor AP, workplace AP of them, integrate all of them and then uh, manage by this uh, PoE switch and then connect to the router and to the internet. So how you can actually access into this centralized management platform is via two way. First way is uh, via this web browser and second will be uh, uh, via this uh, Omada mobile application. It actually, with this uh, Omada Cloud SDN, it provides you a 100% centralized cloud-based uh, solution to provide a highly scalable network, which is controlled from one single interface. So as just now I mentioned, so your access point, your Omada series access point, your switches, your router, all can be integrated, monitored under one centralized management platform. Okay, so how you can actually access into this centralized management platform. So there will be uh, via different types of controller. So if your customers, they want to go for a fully cloud-based controller, then this uh, fully cloud-based controller will be charged per device per yearly basis. So your customers need to expect a yearly submission cost for this if they want to go for fully cloud-based controller. Normally for Malaysia, uh, for customers, they are looking for cost-effective solution. So we will propose them uh, on-premise software or a hardware controller. Normally, Malaysia, uh, I think SMB customers, they will go for uh, this on-premise hardware because they need to pay only one time off the hardware cost for this hardware controller only. So you don't have to uh, pay for yearly submission cost for that. So it actually helps to save out a lot. Uh, a lot. Lah. Okay, software controller is able to cater up to 1,005 devices and hardware controller is able to cater up to 100 devices and 500 devices. Uh, the devices here is those uh, are those um, Omada's uh, router, switches and access point, not the client devices. So for 100 and 500 uh, devices, normally uh, I think your customer will fall under these two. Lah. Okay. okay, what's the benefits of uh, having this hardware controller? So uh, with this hardware controller is that you don't have to cater another PC and server for it to monitor the network anymore. You just purchase this controller and put it on, connect to your switch and then connect to your router. Okay, and it's running on, it's actually able to provide you a free cloud access to our centralized management platform hosted in AWS. So the IT staff, they can actually um, access this platform anywhere, anytime, 24 by seven. So it's much more reliable and secure. And also uh, there is 99.99% SLA guaranteed to minimize the downtime. Yeah, and then, uh, with this controller also, you can do like a batch configuration and firmware upgrade as well. So you no longer need to do the configuration or up, upgrade one by one. So you just put, uh, you just over this controller, over the platform, you just do the arrange for the batch configuration and set up. And even interestingly is that um, you can do this multi-site management over this controller. So you can set like, okay, HQ, and then uh, different side you can set uh, set over there. So you can even assign like, okay, branch A, this uh, IT staff can only manage back the branch A network, but not the other branch network. But the HQ, they have this right to oversee each branch's network. So these are those uh, benefits that we have over here for this multi-site management. So it's easier for those IT staff they, that they have different branches the easier for them to manage lah in future because you can assign different admins right to different uh, staff. Okay, so when it detects any anomaly going on with the network also, it will send out a alerts to your uh, to your email and also there is a pop there will be a like a message from or the notification from your mobile application as well. 
So these are all the controllers that are having a Umada hardware controller. Yeah. Okay, so uh, depending on your uh, client environment, so if your client is fall under like uh, less than 1,000, so you can propose a OC200 for them, which is about cater for 100 devices. If your environment is slightly bigger, so it's about 500 devices, about 500 switches, router, and AP. And then client uh, devices like those uh, laptops, mobile phone, tablets is about 15,000. Then you can just uh, propose this OC300 for them. All right. And then these are the mobile application that are known as Omada. So for you, to manage everything here, so you can see like how many gateways connected, how many switches, how many access points, and then how many sites have this cloud access, how many devices, how many admins, how many alerts. So all these alerts you can see over here and quickly do the remediation. Okay. And then um, in terms of the AP traffic and also the switches at traffic, you can have a look over here also to detect if there's any anomaly. Okay, and then for cloud access wise, you can click into office network to view all the office network, click into factory site or like um, Penang site, uh, click into it to view those uh, individuals network. So it's much more clearer for, and I think for the HQ site to oversee the network and even for the branches people to oversee the network. Okay, and you can even know how many switches which uh, port are in use, which port are not. So all of these, you have this visibility and you will know uh, which router, which switch, uh, which AP is on, which one, which one are not. And then whose clients are connected, whose iPhone, whose iPad. So everything will be showing here. So these are all the views that you have uh, with this, our Omada mobile application. Of course, you can do more things with those uh, with the web browser. Lah rather uh, compared to the mobile application. But this provides a flexibility also for those uh, IT staff which they need to work from home or they station remotely, but they need to oversee the company network at the same time. So this will be the uh, very good solution for them. Okay, so uh, that's all I covered for the software-defined networking part. So, uh, so far, every, everyone can keep up, right? If yes, then I move to Wi-Fi 6 AP. Uh, so if everyone can keep up, uh, you can put a one in the chat box there so we can know, yeah? Mm. Uh, put a one, then we know already. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So yeah, saw it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I will proceed with the Wi-Fi 6 uh, technology. So uh, for our access point, now we do have up to Wi-Fi 6, which is running on AX technology already. Okay, when your clients, they feedback to you, they have this kind of uh, challenges. When you uh, actually identify it, then you can know you need to propose them a Wi-Fi 6 uh, AX access point already. Okay, when they feedback to you, they have this network delay in their environment or they have multiple devices that need the data at the same time. And they have too many applications in their mobile phone already and they have too many access points near to each other. So when your customer, they, they give this kind of feedback to you, so you will know that, okay, it's time for you to propose a Wi-Fi 6 AX access point to them. Okay, why is that so? Okay, Wi-Fi 6 access point, it basically improves the experience in a high density environment because it's able to cater for larger capacity because the concurrent user is able to cater is up to 200 concurrent user per access point. So compare with uh, Wi-Fi 5, which is about 60 concurrent user. So we will notify a significant like improvement in terms of the com uh, capacity supported. When you have those clients, maybe they in uh, shopping malls or they in uh, office with uh, they expecting many concurrent users up to 200. So you, you will know you need to propose them a Wi-Fi 6 solution. And Wi-Fi 6 solution also, the customer will uh, actually notice a significant uh, improved performance when they are using a Wi-Fi 6 devices like those Wi-Fi 6 phones or tablets. 
because the speed that they uh, experience will be four times faster than the Wi-Fi 5. So for Wi-Fi 6, it's basically able to cater for more concurrent user and higher speed for those customers going uh, to using the Wi-Fi 6 devices. Lah. Okay, these are all the scenarios where we can apply our uh, Omada access point in, which is in depending how many concurrent users they need to support. So if about 60 concurrent users per AP, then you just propose a Wi-Fi 5 access point. If you have customers, they need to cater up to 200 concurrent users per AP, then you will know you need to propose them a Wi-Fi 6 access point. Okay. And then for those outdoor environment or those open area, like those are factory, warehouse, swimming pool, parking lot, then you will need to put in the outdoor access point. For those uh, spacious area indoor or wide area indoor, so you will need to provide them a ceiling mounted access point. And then for those uh, customers of four to five star hotel, they have this requirement, they need an in-room Wi-Fi, meaning they need the access point for each room. So you will know these customers, you need to provide them a wall plate access point. Okay. All right. Okay. Just now uh, for our Wi-Fi 6 also, I would like to mention we have this technology called OFDMA. With this OFDMA features, it's able to help you to uh, actually deliver the signals to different devices at the same time. So this technology actually uh, not available with the Wi-Fi 5 technology. Lah. So that's why for Wi-Fi 5 technologies, uh, they will experience this kind of network delay because when one client receives the signals, another two, they have to wait for it. But with Wi-Fi 6, it has this OFDMA features. So it actually enables all those, cli all those uh, clients connected receiving the signals at the same time. So that's why the customers, they are able to experience this uh, like significantly improved performance lah, compared with uh, Wi-Fi 5. So because of this feature. Lah. All right. And then these are all the ceiling mounted access point poof, uh, range that we have. So we have this uh, Wi-Fi 5 model, EAP 225 to 265, and then Wi-Fi 6 model from 620 to 680. So if you have customers, they have not, they have not maybe not so many concurrent users to support, or they want a budget-friendly solution, then you just propose them 225 to 265. And if you have customers, they are looking, maybe once they do this upgrade, they don't want to upgrade anymore in the next three to five years, then you just propose them Wi-Fi 6 solution. Okay. Um, try not to propose uh, EAP 110 or 115 because it's running on old technology. Yeah, and it doesn't support any seamless roaming function here. Lah. So if you have customers, they want to do seamless roaming, meaning uh, they want to walk here and there within that building without disconnect. So this, this is the uh, naming lah, for the uh, features, which is called as seamless roaming. This is uh, achievable, uh, achieve, can be achieved while uh, using our controller. Okay, so for work plate access point, these are the models that we have. So from 225, 230, and 235. These, uh, they have this uh, LAN port built-in as well. So is you can like actually support the usage of those IPTV. And those uh, customers, they want to go for those uh, outdoor access point, you can propose 225 or 620. So depending on the 155 or 156 model. Uh, this 620 outdoor is actually a new model. Lah. So if you have any inquiry, please feel free to let Leo know as well. Okay, so this is the seamless roaming function that just now I mentioned. So when you have a customers nowadays, they have to do a lot of Facebook Live, uh, Shopee Live, and so on, or they need to go uh, conduct a video conference. They need to walk here and there within their building. They don't want to like get disconnected and they want uh, to stay back the same SSID. So these features will be quite useful. So these are all the models that supported these features. So long there is a controller available. So city mounted uh, access point basically covered and with the outdoor access point.
Okay, with our controller also, we have this uh, guest network, which is a captive portal can be done for your customers or for your site. Maybe you are looking to provide those guest network. Okay, so this can be like, a you can actually uh, select a few ways uh, for you to provide this kind of next, uh, guest network connection method. So it can be through a Facebook Wi-Fi and it can be through a SMS login. It can be through a six digit voucher code. All these uh, features can be done and do the setting over the controller side. Like uh, Startup Malaysia, they are using, actually using our solution to provide a six digit code for those customers who purchase the drinks for them. So once you purchase the drinks for them, you will notice that there is a six digit code down there uh, in the receipt. So you will use this six digit uh, voucher code to access into their guest network. So this, all this can be done without any in, without any additional charges. Lah. Okay, so these are all the high performance solutions that we have. So if you have customers, they're looking for 10G backbone solution. So this, uh, you can propose like this to them. So you can propose with a uh, full 10G SFP switch. Uh, depending, you will need a uh, eight port or sixteen port. So, or uh, even uh, some models that need up to L three, you can let us know. And we have some PoE switch as well, running on multi gigabit or gigabit with a ten G uplink. With uh, without ten G uplink, also have. So we also have access point like this. So we just deploy a hardware controller here, and it actually help to manage all your switches, access layer switch your call switch and then with your uh, AP access point as well. Okay, if your customers, they are looking for cost-effective solution, then you can just propose them a gigabit router with a gigabit NumPoE switch as a call switch and then access layer will be those uh, gigabit PoE or gigabit NumPoE switches. Also the same, you deploy a software dependent working on Omada controller here, hardware controller. And it help to manage all your cost switch, your access layer switch, and even your access point. So all under a single pin of glass. And these are all those uh, L2 plus managed switch model that we have. So we have a uh, eight port models. We have a 16 port model. If you have this inquiry, feel, please uh, feel free to let us know so we can see how we can support from there. And these are all those models with a Tanji uplink. So those are with this PoE uh, icon below, uh, those are PoE switch. Uh. So we have uh, eight port models, we have a uh, 24 port models. We also have the models up to 48 ports. And these are all the L2 plus mini switch as well, but it's running on gigabit. So also the same, we have an uh, eight port model, we have 24 ports model, we have 48 ports model. Okay, and then we do have smart switches as well, which is to connect to those uh, access point, provide power for those access point, those surveillance camera, those view IP phone that don't need up to layer two. So, okay, so we will have a few models here that you can propose to them. So we will have a eight port model, 16 port, and also 24 ports. Okay, and this will be the routers that we have. So we have two models basically, uh, ER605 and 7206. It's a gigabit VPN load balancing router. If you your client side, they have a multiple internet line coming in. So it's able to support up to four internet line. Do the, you can do the WAN binding here, not the WAN bonding, like bonding cannot be done, but WAN binding, can be and it can help to do the load balancing between the internet lines. Also with our router, you can set up the, the open VPN uh, very fast uh, via our Omada platform. So you, uh, later Alex will show you also how to how easily is that to set up a VPN over there. And it's up to uh, ACL and web authentication, URL filtering, attack defense layer. Lah. If you, your customers, they are looking up to application layer, then uh, unfortunately now we still not able to support on this. But if you have a requirement, maybe up to like maybe URL filtering, they want to do ACL like that and VPN. Yes, possible. 
Okay, so, and these are all the media converters that we have. Lah. So we have a few models here. We have all these accessories, like those FFP modules as well. So if you have uh, some customers, they maybe the switches, they still use spec like other brands or switches, but the accessory is time for them to upgrade. Then feel, please feel free to uh, like propose our media converter to them. So we have our models, each able to support up to 20 kilometers, single mode, multi-mode, uh, three kilometers, uh, bi-directional uh, models we also have. So we have a fast internet, we have a gigabit media converter, and we also have a red mouse chassis. SFP module, we also have a gigabit one, and SFP plus up to 10G, we also have. Okay, so... Now, I would like to move on to the case study and also some uh, scenario sharing. So when you have uh, some customers in this field industry, so you will roughly know uh, what kind of requirement they're actually expecting and what kind of uh, solutions that you can propose to them. Okay, so we have uh, solutions. We, we have for hospitality, like for those hotels. We have uh, some uh, scenarios also on education, on manufacturing, retail, F&B, and others. Okay, so for hospitality-wise, you will need to understand their backgrounds, requirement, uh, the solution topology, how you, how you are going to design, and what are those uh, products that we will recommend, and some case study that you can share to them if they are asking for like deepening uh, project reference. Okay, for hospitality solution is basically they are looking for like uh, a full Wi-Fi coverage, a stable Wi-Fi. So like Wi-Fi is and no longer is an overstatement, it's a reality nowadays. Because nowadays our access point, we are able to provide uh, this uh, full stable Wi-Fi coverage. And for hospitality also, they need to provide uh, their customers a flexible gas control they need to ensure there's a similar roaming function, which they, uh, they, they need their guests to enjoy the network with, without any interruption. And they want to manage the network uh, easily. So with those uh, like, uh, satisfied customers, they are actually uh, like those business, they actually they want to have all this, uh, ensure this uh, customer satisfaction and also good review to keep their business growing. So our business networking solution is able to build a reliable, a cost-effective wireless network to drive the progress and also keep the gas coming back for another stay for the hotels. Okay, so for hospitality requirement. Okay, firstly, they will need a strong and stable Wi-Fi. So if your stable, your Wi-Fi is strong, stable, some customers, they might actually uh, drop will be able to drop you a good uh, reviews over different website. Okay, and also you can provide a flexible gas access control with uh, our controller. So you can actually provide them a six digit voucher code when they actually uh, check in with you. So you can set over there how many hours is this uh, voucher is going to valid for. So they can use the Wi-Fi for how long per user and you can even set the bandwidth control per user. So this kind of flexible gas uh, access can be done with our controller and the seamless roaming function as well. So the customers will enjoy uninterrupted uh, network when they go around or walk around your hotel. Also easy management because uh, for hotels, normally you are expecting many guests at the same time. So you are looking for a solution that help you easily monitor and also manage all these guests to provide this uh, gas network. So all this can be done via our controller. Okay, this is the scenarios that we have. So for our hotels buildings, uh, normally inside, you will deploy uh, like this, uh, our ceiling mounted Wi-Fi 6 access point here. So in the corridor side, the lobby side, and then for outdoor, you will deploy a outdoor access point and also a CPE, a wireless uh, outdoor wireless broadband solution to cover those uh, swimming pools or outdoor parking area. And for those um, in room Wi-Fi, so you will provide the wall plate access point in each room. So 
for custom uh, for customers in hotel normally you can propose uh, this four model uh, these four models in which involve a city mounted access point to cover for wide area uh, in room Wi-Fi covered by this uh, wall plate access point and then outdoor will be covered by a uh, uh, Faro's wireless broadband uh, if need to be and also a uh, uh, our outdoor access point as well. These are the topologies for the hospitality uh, requirement uh, solution uh, for those uh, environment. So we will have a gateway, our router here, and then to the call switch. And then call switch, you can split into different VLAN. And then for machine room, it will, you can put a server there with a Omada software controller or a hardware controller. You will put this call switch and also this hardware controller in the machine room. And then your access layer switch will be the PoE switch. So maybe it's a 24 port model. So this one provides some ports for wire connection for office and then some others for APs. So APs uh, for ceiling mounted AP is suitable for those dining area, those uh, restaurant, those meeting room, lobbies, and also parking. And for guest room, different VLAN, so you can put for uh, these few models, wall plate models, and outdoor access point to cover for swimming pool and outdoor parking. So you can uh, actually create different VLAN for that, for you to easily manage the network. And these are the few models that we will recommend. Lah. But uh, after that, uh, if you have really have this kind of uh, requirement, so you can let us know and we will, can help to propose a suitable solution based on your customer requirement. Okay, and then switches uh, get me. Normally we have two models. So depending uh, how many VPN uh, sessions, VPN tunnels they are expecting. And we have two models that we can propose. Okay, and then switches, we do have uh, 34 ports, 48 ports. We have up to L2 plus, we have up to L3. So you may find out with your customers and let us know and we will propose you accordingly. And we have a uh, city mounted access point, also the same. We have a uh, Wi-Fi 5 model, Wi-Fi 6 model we also have. So if the environment is a high density environment, like those uh, restaurant, meeting rooms, then you will need to put a uh, Wi-Fi 6 access point in, right? For those uh, lobby and parking, which not so much concurrent user that need the Wi-Fi connection, then you can just propose a Wi-Fi 5 model in. And for guest room, you just propose in a 230 or 235 wall model to cover the in-room uh, Wi-Fi inside the room. And outdoor access point like EAP 225 to cover for swimming pool or outdoor. And these are all the success cases uh, over Bukit Bintang area. So um, we have actually uh, deployed and also supplied for Hotel Istana, Journal Hotel, MOP Hotel, uh, Volo Hotel, and those uh, three-star hotel as well. So we have actually coverage from two-star up to five-star hotels. And these are another uh, case studies uh, over Okay, uh, Mr. Lo, you're asking how to optimize the Wi-Fi signal coverage to avoid too many overlapping signals. Uh, Alex, can you uh, answer Mr. Lo on this? Oh, Mr. Long, later we can we will get back to you lah, after the QA session. Okay, so for the for the another case study oh, in Malaysia, we also uh, supply for those uh Genting Hills Hotel, Four Star Hotel, the Gaia Central Hotels, the Peak Hotel, uh Era Residence, Damasut, Lee Apples, and so on. So we supply them about some from 70 pieces up to 100 pieces, up to 260 pieces. And these are all for hospitality scenario. So for education wise, if you have customers, they are fall into education industry. So normally they will need a wireless connectivity to provide them a convenient Wi-Fi to their student to have to access to those uh, information to their 
maybe the portal and so on to enrich their education. So the, for teachers, why are also able to access a wide variety of resources that can help to provide, uh, promote a more effective uh, learning and also development in the campus. So for education, they will need to uh, have this uh, BYOD and then they will need to provide e-learning. They will need to monitor important data like attendance as well. They will need to provide a wired and also wireless network access to their students and also teachers. And they need to ensure there is a remote access to those uh, educational resources and authority level for sensitive information and also secure their campus environment. Okay, so these are all the solutions that you can deploy for. So for office, normally we will go in with a layer three or L2 plus a, a minute switch over there. And then um, classroom wise, we will put in a PoE switches and also a ceiling mounted access point. And also with uh, indoor cameras with those PoE switch. And also for dormitory, we will provide, uh, you, you can code in with a PoE switch and also a wall plate AP to cover for each room. And walkway wise, uh, you will need a media converter and then with uh, outdoor cameras. And machine room, you will need uh, MVRs, you will need a, uh, a VPN router, you will need a L2 plus or L3 magnet switch, and also the controller media converters magnet switch over the machine room. And for outdoors, you will need to provide uh, the outdoor access point. So we have this full solution which you can provide for the whole campus. This is how the topology would be like. So the gateways will be uh, and then, uh, put, uh, a peel, a call switch and then connected to the gateway. And then connected to the call switch will be those uh, Omada hardware controller or the software controller or the server. And then the access layer switch will be those uh, PoE switch, depending the devices that need to connect it to that PoE switch is about how many. So you can create different VLAN for that. So for this uh, PoE switch, uh, you can provide for those access points, like those EAP 60, 245 for those uh, classroom, canteens, uh, stadium, library, corridor. For dormitory, you can provide this monthly access point. So it can be 235 models or 230 model. From, from playground and also swimming pool, it will be those models like 225. And surveillance, you can propose in our CCTV as well. So we will have a 3MP indoor and also outdoor surveillance cameras. And those are PLE switch, they are able to provide for those are wired connection as well. So these are all the topologies for the education side. Okay, so I'm not going to go in details on the models also. So also depending on your requirement, but you can refer back this slide for a reference when you're going to propose to your customers. And these are all the case studies in education side. So we have a UITM Sarawak, we have Fung Yu High School, we have a Ta College, we have UPM, we have UKM as well. Okay, for manufacturing. For manufacturing, uh, it requires a uh, complicity because uh, they need to connect all their manufacturing equipments to their own platform. So uh, for scalability wise, they, they have many devices that need to connect and many information need to be collected and analyzed. So for this, they will need to do like uh, automation. So if they need this kind of automation, for sure they will need a stable Wi-Fi in their environment to analyze and collect all this data. And stability is, also one of the things that uh, the manufacturers is looking for. So they will need, because they have so many connections and so many data that need to collect. So it, they need a very stable and also fast response uh, networking solution. And because of their environments, they need some of the uh, areas temperature are like, just like outdoor. So for this kind of environment, we also have the models, which is able to, uh, you can actually propose which is, about, which is the EAP 225 outdoor or the 620 outdoor. And also for this uh, 
environment with this uh, industrial 4.0 solution, the networking equipment also doesn't allow a lot, very long downtime. So when you will need a very strong uh, network connection there. Okay, the topology is much simple compared with uh, education and also hospitality. So the gateway and then to the switches, and then switcher side, uh, whether or not it's a hardware controller or software controller, and then provide to the access layer switch, the PoE switches. So also the same, you can uh, speak different VLAN here. So one is for this uh, Wi-Fi, and one is for this uh, surveillance camera. So you can set up here like this. And then also the same for those uh, buildings that they are like uh, located far from each other. So you will need the network connection as well. So you can put a wireless broadband here. The PoE switch connect to the virus, virus broadband, and then provide the power to those uh, IPTV and also for those switches in the remote area. So these are the topologies normally for manufacturing side. Okay, so these are all the products that we recommended also. So uh, depending on customer requirement at the end, so we will actually uh, customize it for you all. Okay, and these are the case study that we have for show rubber, for intact, for Jabil, for press metal, Bintulu as well. So, and many more we will cover later. Okay, and retail side also, nowadays they have uh, the brick and mortar retailers, they need to provide like a uh, free Wi-Fi to actually encourage their customers or collect the information from their client to customize the advertisement to them. So for like maybe you take uh, like Sunway for example, so when you go into Sunway Pyramid, when you connect to their Wi-Fi, right? When you are like nearby that particular shop, you will actually send out like a promo like that to you all. So you'll notice uh, this kind of things can be done. Uh, wired, uh, actually wired a uh, Wi-Fi uh, wi solution. So for shopping malls now, so they also, they, they need to customize and also provide the customers, improve the customer's experience in their environment. So that's why uh, Wi-Fi will be quite uh, crucial for the future shopping malls. Okay, for retail f &B, so they will need uh, outstanding Wi-Fi performance uh, in a high density uh, client environment. Because for uh, some like cafes, restaurant, they need to uh, serve for those customers uh, during those uh, peak hours, like lunchtime or uh, dinner time. So they need to ensure there is a stable and also strong Wi-Fi connection during that time. Also, they will need to have a consistent, uh, consistent wireless connection throughput. And then they need to ensure these are uh, authentication features also, which are they and they can assess this uh, as authentication to control which clients can connect to their Wi-Fi. Because if, let's say, maybe uh, during some time, you might need to like maybe set some certain limit for maybe bandwidth control from some uh, clients that connected to your Wi-Fi to ensure that everyone can access and also use their, uh, your Wi-Fi. Also, you can customize your promotions uh, content inside the captive portal features, which is available over the uh, our Omada controller. So you can put in few advertisement and promotional content in images. And the client, before they can access to the best Wi-Fi, they will need to see your advertisement first before they can access. So this is also one of the marketing methods that you can uh, explore without any incurred additional costs. Also for retail and FFB, because they also have like different system to maintain, for sure, for Wi-Fi, they will need a simplified management with a low cost maintenance. So all of these requirements can be fulfilled with our Omada solution. Okay, their solution quite simple. So uh, for their machine room, for the checkout counter, you can put a PoE switch there and um, also a non-PoE switch. And then for machine room, maybe some... Uh, Gigabit uh, route PoE switches, uh, 2.5G switches, uh, depending on their requirements. And then access point, you can put in the cafes, uh, like maybe a few units of uh, 660 to provide for the high density environment, like those lobby or restaurant. 
an office area maybe for those customers uh, about 60 users, then you can just uh, propose them 245. And then outdoor parking, just uh, 225 outdoor. Okay, uh, this is also the case study that I shared earlier. So we actually supply the solutions to Sabak Malaysia nationwide to provide them this, uh, they need, because uh, they need to have a cost-effective VPN router solution to, in order to uh, actually provide them a local access from their remote HQ via the VPN. And they need a secure solution to and restrict all the access to the internet. So we provide them this solution and then they actually use our solution here to provide the gas, the, uh, the gas Wi-Fi. Lah. So the also the same, you can actually see notice there is a six-digit code uh, below the receipt each time when you purchase the drinks for them. And it's actually different from each users actually purchase for drinks from them. So Different users will have different uh, like access lah, to the Wi-Fi. So this is the like value-added solutions that your customers maybe they can propose to, maybe they can actually deploy. Also, we supply for Shopee office in mid valley area. So we supply the whole solution for their office. So from the route, from the switches to the access point and is about 3,000 square feet over Mid Valley. Okay, Beacon Specialist Hospital as well. So we supply them a layer three switches, a layer two switches as well, and some uh, accessories. So their capacity is about, they need to cater for 100 patient bedroom, the meeting room for doctors and also the management staff. So all this can be done uh, via our Omada solution. And these are some others uh, notable successful case study from our side. So we supply also for AAsia, KK Mark, New Era, uh, College, Era Residence, uh, Tem Mungkiara, then Persatuan Bola Sepak Malaysia, Felda, and so on. Okay. So for you all, if you are interested to explore our uh, TP-Link solution, so please feel free to let Leo know. Or uh, put uh, your like actually drop down your comment in the chat box. So we are actually offering you all this uh, Omada SDN solution MBR set, which consists of a PoE switch, a Wi Fi 6 access point, a Wi Fi 5 access point, a Omada controller OC200, and a ER605 router. So if you have like many customers, they are fall under maybe uh, hospitality, uh, retail. Uh, offices, then you can purchase this unit as a testing unit from your end. So before your customer purchase, you can actually purchase the unit and then loan to them before they purchase. Lah. So actually this helps to close the sale uh, faster also because once they tested, if they really found that uh, this solution is suitable for them, then they will make up their mind faster. Lah. So we actually provide a 25% discount, which is your normal price is uh, 2285. Now we are giving you a special price up to 1715. So one customer is limit up to one set and you have to lock in the PO for Zettabyte so technology by 30 September in order to enjoy this uh, SDN solution MBR set. Okay, the solutions that we provide here will be the TLSG2210 MP1 unit. This is a eight ports uh, gigabit PoE plus switch with two gigabit SFP slot. And then one unit of uh, EAP620 HD is a AX1008 C mounted access point to a band. The speed is up to 574 Mbps at 2.4 gigahertz and 1002 Mbps at five gigahertz. So this will be suitable for customers they are in high density environment. Okay, and we also have one unit of EAP225, which is the AC1350 single mounted access point. The speed is about 450 Mbps, and 5 gigahertz will go up to 867 Mbps. And the hardware controller here, we have also one unit. So it's for you to manage all your these switches, this AP, and also this router. Okay, and we have this ER605 here, which is a gigabit multi-band VPN load balancing router. 
So it can support up to four WAN and the IPsec VPN downloads is able to support is up to 20. And the PP2P, uh, L2TP VPN downloads is up to 16. Open VPN up to 16 as well. And 25K of a concurrent session. Okay. We also will give out a special gift, which is a Deco M4 two packs. Uh, three units of them for the first three customers who log in the PO for Zetabyte technology for the Omada SDN pollution and FR set. Okay, so for any of you who are interested, so please feel free to let Leo know. So Leo will send out the uh, form to you all to fill up lah, if you are all interested to purchase this. Okay, so uh, now I would like to pass to Alex to continue. Uh, yeah, before we move to the next section, mm. uh, uh, because mm. uh, some of the uh, attendees, uh, they dropped some mm. the in question inside my private message there. So if they can help to answer their question first. Hello. Oh, oh Wendy is gone. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Alex, no, no, so can you assist? Slow bit here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, before we move to the next session, uh, so I will open up the question here because I think the question here also will help uh the others attendees uh attendees uh, to well know about the uh, what we call the TP link products uh, and also the Wi-Fi solution. Okay. Okay. The first question is uh how many users can use the VPN? For the VPN can, <clears throat> okay. For the VPN setup, router to router IP set can up to twenty. For client to LAN is 16 maximum, but concurrent user access is 10. Mm, okay, so I think this uh, answer the Mr. Cairo question there. Okay, the second question is, uh, can Omada able to manage multiple brand of AP? No, just SDN only. I uh, mean only to the Maybe SDN, only TP, TP only. Link, yes. Mm, okay. Thank you. So that's all for the question. Mm. Okay, so the second question, uh, the, uh, the next session will be handled by Alex, isn't it? Okay, I will... Mm. Okay, I will pass to you now. Okay, thank you. Okay. So I will go to our web page a bit first. Uh, so everyone can see that our tip building have more than one of the categories of products for homes, for smart homes, and for business. So what Wendy just started is our SDN. So it here is all the categories that support for SDN. From AP, Shish, to the routers. And the other types of the switches or router will be like anything standard on. And yes, it has very easy features. We select the port, speed, the uplinks, PoE support or non PoE support. And if you want more information regarding the products, you just select it. Here is the specs. Here is the support page for the database, user guide, firmware, or emulator. Okay. So now I will start logging to our cloud controllers from the outside. Very easily. Start in Omada cloud. On one same ID, you can add 
more than one controllers. The maximum support is around 100 units controllers by single launch. And this is live at our office. In the controller, you can overview the status of your network, like your ISP load. The gateways, switches, EAP, clients connected. And actually, you can add one more than one side. So for the OC2, I'm good. Yes. Okay, I will continue on. So at this page, you can add on more widgets. See the systems. The network. And the client informations I just done. The second is the detects performance of the devices. So here you can see the port usage, the CP, CPU usage, traffic package from the routers, switch, or the AP. You can overview each of the part. The map, this topology will automatically generate out once all the SD and devices connected together. Here is a place you can put a four pen in and look at the device. Devices is the place that you can overview all your device is connected and adopts to be easy to reboot over be here. Then for our switches, QI switch can easily reboot the power and the same page too. And for the profile, this I will show more later on. The next is the client that collected on the wireless or wired. You can directly block the user from here, or reconnect it. If the user has issue with the connections, inside is the bus connection. In the same page here, you can scan for the watch IP. Log is overview what happened on your network. It can be alert by the events or notified by the emails. I mean, is the create for the user login. So for more advanced setup, this is the information for the site. 
so we can remain it. Enable the mesh or the fill over connections. More advanced features for the fast roaming, fan staring, and create the password using password for the devices that you adopt into the controller. Internet setup is for the router only. So if you without the router, you're not able to configure this page. You can set on the static IP, dynamic IP, and PPPoE. And yes, you can tag on the VLAN too. And for more than one uplink, you can set the pickup line for the failover. Our router is support up to 41. The next is on the LAN connections. So we can configure this switch or the router from multi VLAN interface by just creating name it, create an interface, create a VLAN, VIP, here CV server. That's all. On the same time, you can create more than one and put on the profile for easy configure the switch to be tackled or untackled on the next page you can easily put in the profile for the part that you want to be configured. So you can select more than one switch. At the same page, you can configure easily for the switch part. The wireless fits smaller SSID. You can create it based on the VLAN. Or just single click to block the individual user access to your network. ACO is access list control. You can fill in on the gateway, switch or the EAP. It's very simple. Create a name, deny or permits. What is the protocols? On the network, IP groups, IP group groups or ADS SID to the source of uh, the destinations. is the page for the web filtering. For the web filtering, you can create the rules on the gateway or the EAP. So as soon as you name it, deny or permit, you choose the SSID, then what is the URL you like to block or permit. Attack difference for the floor difference. You can block from the outside road and some of the inside traffic. Our router currently is until layer trees only. So we have a limited on the security like firewalls or some application blocking. 
okay, is a place to place the routing for the static route to the gateway. To do it by next hope or interface. The policy route for network. On which of the protocols to which of the one. Netting is for the port forwarding outside to inside. The ALG. Season limit for the network. Or IP code. Next on is the bandwidth control, which management, which management for the one. So you can know the speed of your one currently running on the routers. Then you can set the which. Create the rules. Which of the network to which of the band. Speed limited. To be shared or in the video. Next is the VPN. For the VPN, we have one of our latest features. That means is once the site is all adopted into the Omala controller, you can easily create the VPN without any configurations. Just need to select the site. Then you will automatically link up the routers, build up the VPN tunnels. For the other side, you can manual set up also. From client to LAN, have more than one selections. Go to TP, PPTP, IP set or open VPN. Next one is the profile of time range to the devices. The groups of the network, you can set by IP groups, IP port groups, by adding the subnet or map just group. Next on is the authentications. This authentication is designed for LAN or Wi-Fi. And it support with no authentications. Once you talk about simple password. WPA the hotspot can set it up to four. Then B is the place to select which of the hotspot to be select login. And once you click the mesh, we will redirect you to the page to create the voucher. You can set out the voucher with six code up to 10. The mark up to five goods. You can limit the usage.
or limit the online user. Okay, set up the hours for the customs for minute to days. Okay, limit the download upload for the quarter means you can set up for how many MB per voucher can be used. For the management user, local user, Use for create a individual username password. You can put the time range up to one use. Bind email address of the device maximum for the use. And yes, you can control the upload, download, and the quarter. the external video server. So you can add the <coughs> controller link with the video server also from the outside or local. After login landing page. External portal from the domain or the public IP. Facebook. You can link with the business Facebook. One click login on using the six code that create on your business Facebook to log in. We will talk a bit about the page. Under here, you can select the language, change the pictures, the background, and this is how it look like. For the PC, mobiles, even the logos, you can change also. The position the colors Add in the welcome information, terms and services, copyright, and the ads. And for the next is the port security. You can set up with the radius profile, authenticate map adjust authentications on the Wi-Fi. The link with the match radius profile. Select the format for the net address. You can empty password or click with a password. Next is the radio's profile. On the services. Can edit dynamic DNS, no IP, funeral, and COMEX.
SNMP, UPNP, this is this is search. Schedule reboot for the device. POE schedules for the switch port. Then export data of the log. So currently we have just support CSV format and Excel format. The PDF format is coming soon. This one is the controller information. You can set the SMTP server. And change the controller box. Bind the cloud access with the Omada TP-Link cloud. Maintenance is for upgrade, reboot, and factory for the controller. <laughs> The is the site for migrate controller to controller. You can migrate from the site or the whole controller. The last is the backup. Okay, thank you for it. Is it still have any question regarding the controller? Yeah, anyone, if you are interested to know more on certain parts, you can always let us know. Then we, uh, we have Alex here also. We can answer to some of your questions uh, in terms of technical part. Is there everyone still there? <laughs> yeah. Everyone still here? <laughs> Anyone Sorry, have anyway, any questions or not? Uh, currently, okay, okay. Yeah, here, here, okay, can. Mm, okay, so if they've got no any further question, so I think uh, uh, the, what you call, the, the, the sharing from Wendy and also Alex will be uh, added here. Lah. Okay, so mm. in here, I really appreciate that. Thanks to the, for the Wendy and also Alex. Uh, which uh, from TP Link and uh, they're willing to take some time uh, to give a training for mm. your guys to learn about in the two section. Or oh, it's a very important for me because there's one thing. The first thing is the marketing, the require the what you call the the needs from the uh, user, which from different industry. So I think you guys have got some the what we call the idea or maybe the what we mm. call the the novel lah. What is the needs for the market and also the design? And the second thing is the technical way, lah, uh, sharing from the Alex. So, uh, as I see just now, so I think that uh, it will help a lot, especially for the who doing the IT management. We will, because the inside there, as I see just now, it's a very friendly use. Uh, all the things are very simplified, and then you, know, you can do the all setting and configuration, and especially for the uh, remote restart for the all the router and the modem, it's a very, mm, save a lot of the, what we call the, Cost the time is so big. Yeah, yeah, the time, time there also. Yeah. Mm. So for in future, so I hope uh, all our attendants here can give a support uh, for the TP, TP link product. So as you can see, all the uh, product, uh, uh, all the uh, all the pro uh, product background they have support in the different yeah, company, yeah, big yeah, company already. Yeah, Sorry, just another question is from who? Mm. Eh? Yeah. Hello. Uh, sorry again, uh, may I know the question from who? Uh, from Alex just now. Uh, from who? Uh? I think the sound from Alex just now. Uh. Uh, sound from Alex? Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, they uh, okay, closed yeah, the yeah. mic already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
uh, he write in the chat box already. Okay, so mm. yeah, we hopefully can do the spec in, uh, especially for the mm. consultant, uh, we are doing the spec in for the project part and also for the contractor, which uh, we can hope you can propose uh, the TP link product uh, to all your project inside there. Okay, so incoming, if you've got any inquiry, uh, like about want to ask about the design on and only uh, and also the what we call the product so mm. you can look for me and i also i believe that uh, the tp link they got a very strong uh back end service and support lah, especially from the technical part and also the pricing there so we also are looking for uh, all of the what we call the attendance uh, we can work together so put in the wi-fi solution and then networking there mm. Mm. okay, okay uh, there's a question from um, Wangi, yeah. Wangi. Yeah, uh, Alex, for the current mesh, maximum how many meters are uh, support? Open area. Okay. Okay, Alex had replied it's about 10 meters for open area. Outdoor. Okay. Outdoor is about eighty meter. Mm, so Alex had reply already. Eh? Okay. Now I also dropped the feedback form inside the chat box already. So for those who are need the slide for uh, to this slide, uh, we will uh, email to you after we had uh, uh, after you have filled in the form, and then we will email the mm. presentation slide today lah for you all, and also for your all involved mm. because today uh, because uh, we got two sections. Uh, one is the mm. uh, one is the present uh, with the slide. And what is the pre uh, and Alex is present with the web bro just now. So I think I will upload the video today lah, for you all mm. in future reference. So again, I will share our Facebook page and also the YouTube uh YouTube channel here. So you can all give a like and follow us lah. So in coming mm. if there any video, any uh news that we will post in our Facebook uh, Facebook page and also the YouTube channel also. Yeah. So so far is that uh you guys got any more questions? Any further questions? Okay, so is there no more further question there? So before we end, I will hope we can take a group photo. So if you are available, can please open your video cam? Yeah. Yeah, so, so we go into the last section. We're going to take a group photo and then I think today our training shall be uh, our training shall be end here. Mm. Okay, thanks for those who open your camera. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we got two pages here. So I will say three, two, one, and then I will take a we will take a few seconds. Okay. The first page, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, page two. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, thanks for your guys for join our for joining our training session now. So for you all info also So my name is Leo. I'm from Tetabit. So our company uh are doing more on the supply for the ERV service item. So I'm uh, professional in the, doing the support for the fiber to the home and also the structure cabling. So currently we're also doing the SMATV uh, system support uh, for the DCSS system. Uh, and now we just uh, uh, join together with the tp also to doing the Wi-Fi solution also. So in future, if you guys got any question about the ERV service like fiber or the UTP cases k or the Wi-Fi solution, SMA TV, you can look for our company, you can look for me also. Lah. So all my contact is uh, inside the feedback form already. So anything, you can just contact me, okay? So if you've got no any further question, I think we should uh, end, uh, end here, not a session day. So hope to see you uh, on the next training uh, because it's incoming and uh, we were doing more and more the online training. I've uh, seen we cannot uh, go out and <laughs> explore our product to all of, uh, all of our client here. So we will like do more on the training. Uh.
uh, through the drone here. So previously, uh, we had done uh, a few topics already, like fiber to the home, fiber, fiber optic technology. Uh, the front, uh, this one is the last week one, uh, the topic, and also the SMA TV system, and also the structure cabling. So incoming that uh, we were doing more and more the topic, uh, which are related to the ERV system. So we also hope you can see you all uh, on the next training also. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Everyone. Okay. So thanks you guys. So you guys can feel free to uh, leave uh, the room already. Lah. So if you all still want to stay here and chit chat, uh, I will still open the room for you. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Or anyone shy, want to ask <laughs> questions after everyone left, also can. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I also want to, yeah, my boss. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, Mr. Kwa is uh, my boss. Uh, so, uh, he also inside here this room today. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Kwa, you got anything you want to speak to all our attendants? Uh? You open your, you, have, you mute already. Uh, you, you open your mic. Okay, I think we are still in the plan. Uh, we will launch later for all the training program. Uh. Okay, since uh, FMSTO since continue again, that means I think we, we have to still go for this way. We hope everybody uh, can use your time, valuable time to learn more things. Okay, uh, I think I hope you enjoy this training. Or someone maybe think uh, too technically, or maybe someone will think about this session, hmm. uh, maybe need special session, like you want to do the configuration, please let us uh, know. That means also certain IT people or SI or maybe IT manager, you think, hey, uh, just now maybe you, you can see Alex. When Alex in, introduced that time, maybe the way he present will be too fast. Or maybe the sound is not strong enough. You do like grumble himself or what like that. You think, hey, I, I need to further. <laughs> then you tell us. Then we will, uh. we will do another training just to do the configuration. Wi-Fi, how to configure yeah. step by step slowly. Okay, if you need that, then let us uh, know. Then we will uh. go for that session. Then we will tell you how to configure the Wi-Fi, VLAN, VPN, step by step. That will be another session. But today's session very much on the briefing. Okay, when you think, hey, qua. Uh, maybe GW, can, can we have another session with more detail? Mm. Please, please, please leave the message, then we know what you want. Because we don't know, everybody has different uh, qualification and different education background and uh, technical background. We don't know uh, when we can, we cannot fit everybody. Maybe somebody have their, their own need. They want to know more on the mm. design. Oh, that yeah. means we, we will come out with courses talking about how to design the whole entire enterprise network. Or somebody will think, hey, I want to do configuration, or then maybe we will get another courses for configuration. That means we can specify for everybody's needs. Okay, Please tell us what you want. Then we will try to work together on that. I think uh, mm -hmm. TP very much happy to, to help everybody to understand the product more. At least you can really uh, optimize the product, you know. So don't buy the the Mercedes drive like 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 Kanje, you know. Then you might buy you drive like Mercedes car. Okay, that means it's it's a it's waste. Is is it a waste lah? When you, you drive buy the must that you drive at the Kanje side, then we will teach you how to optimize the product because it's you got a very good product and mm. a lot of features. Then we tell you how to good you know, take these features to convince the customer or for you to use. Okay, yeah. please tell All us. Right. Please tell us, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so Wendy, so thanks for today. Lah. Thanks for your sharing. Uh, also, thank you. Uh, yeah. So hope can uh, see you maybe in coming we got can make mm. uh, another training also. So we can Yeah, uh, can yeah. can just let us know like what kind of things that we need to cover lo, for the okay. certain uh, customer. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Later uh their feedback I will send to you also lah, for your reference also. Mm. Yeah, okay. Uh, can. Then mm. please remember the offer until 30th night, uh, September. Uh, please mm. grab the opportunity. Uh, it's very, very good price, you know. Oh, uh, Okay, no, yeah, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, hope to see you guys on next time.